am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on with me. Let's check it out. Today. So today it's going to be Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, actually. Princess Harry is her name also. So anyway, let's uh, see what's happening with Megan. Is she as bad as everybody says she is? I just don't think so. Okay, today it's going to be Meghan Markle, fan favorite. Folks are telling me that she's horrible, that she's just a money grabber, that she went in to ruin Harry's life. So let's see what's going on with Meghan Markle. She's, is she a witch? Is she a horror? What's the deal with this woman? Did she just set her talons in to go in and snatch Harry out of the royal family and deliver him onto the shores of the California Sunshine Beach? I don't know. Let's see what the, the cards say. So I'm going to use the crow tarot today because it, it's, you know, crows are, are kind of sly and slick and, 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 um, and some kind of can be cheating. So Meghan Markle, like the cards, love the book. Let's see what the intention is. I really can't believe that folks have such a dislike for, for this woman. I mean, it's just ridiculous to me. But, you know, we'll see what the cards say. Um, I just read the cards as they come out, and um, we'll see how that works for, for this horror, this Meghan Markle. What is your alter, ulterior motive, Meghan? Did you just set your sights to destroy that royal family? I'm sure that's what happened. You're a monster, and, um, and all of England should be wary of you. Good riddance, uh, England says, to Meghan Markle. Oh, my God, what an evil princess she's turned into. So we'll start with six cards. One, two for the demon, Meghan Markle. Three, four, she must be evil personified. Five, and six. Let's see what dark soul this woman has. And the signifier card for this witch is, well, oh, what is this? This is the eight of Pentacles. Uh, and the Eight of Pentacles is, uh, you know, perfecting your craft. Certainly that must be what she's doing. She's looking at uh, making this, you know, just the most evil situation she could possibly come up with. So Meghan Markle, what dark, dark uh, uh, craft are you perfecting? The challenge to that be the Wheel of Fortune. Certainly it's going to land on black. What else could it do for Meghan Markle? The basis of this reading then is the, uh, what are these guys? The four, ah, this is the emperor. Wow, the emperor. So she's trying to take down the emperor. It's obvious to everyone that that's exactly what's going on here. The past of this reading then, the fool. Of course, she made a fool out of everyone in the royal family and, um, and she's so happy with what she's done. The sky. The sky for this King of Cups. She's stolen the King of Cups, the King of Emotions, from this um, uh, poor, uh, debilitated family. The future. Well, it, some would say that the Two of Swords is deciding which path to go on, but probably these are the swords she's going to use to cut down the poor, unsuspecting Harry. Let's see what other cards are, are left for this, this horrid woman. So the three of uh, wands, you know, three of wands is long-term planning. Of course, it's obvious. This is the ocean. This is the long-term planning. This is her staring across at the United States. Obviously, her plan was always to drag her prey across the ocean and deposit him onto the shores of the, the California beaches. The um, environment that that was in is, uh, what is this now, by the way? Let's see. This is the uh, nine of swords. Oh yeah, it was always portended that this would be a nightmare for the royal family once she wheedled her way in. The hopes and the fears? Of course it's fears. What else could it be? The king of swords. She has actually become the king of this evil, sordid empire. And then the final outcome is the queen of pentacles. She scraped together all the money into her into her uh, 
a filthy nest to uh, line it, line her pockets or uh, feather her her nest. Obviously, Meghan Markle is the devil personified. Okay, so we had fun with that. So let's do a real reading on Meghan Markle. This is just, um, you know, ridiculous. Uh, so some of the folks who replied uh, on this uh, channel uh, asking me to read for the worst possible scenario of what this woman is doing. I mean, come on, folks. People are just trying to live their lives. You know, Harry found somebody to love. Uh, she couldn't go along with the uh, insane uh, restricted rules that the royal family has. So, you know, they got out of it. You know, what else would they do? William can't get out of it. He's the next king. He's got to learn how to play by the rules. Um, Charles has been a product of that um, uh, dysfunctional uh, firm uh, that's been set up to royal to uh, govern the royals. So let's try and do something a little more reasonable. Okay, let's put this uh, evil Megan insanity to rest and just see uh, what would be an actual true reading for the princess, the duchess, Megan. Okay, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, I hope you guys got a chuckle out of that insane reading. Put these here because we'll need four more in a minute. Okay, so now an actual reading. The um, Meghan Markle, what's the signifier for her in this reading? Okay, so this is the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups is celebrations, emotional celebrations. We've got three uh, crows here who are having a, a good time uh, drinking from the Cups of Passion. So that's a signifier. There's three of them right now. There's Harry, there's Meghan, and there's the baby. And they're just trying to uh, soak up uh, whatever uh, compassion and passion that they've created for themselves at this moment. The uh, challenge for this, though, is going to be the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, I guess, you know, the uh, Swords are truth and justice and rules. And uh, the Knight comes charging in on the white steed. And uh, so how is that a challenge for them? So if it's truth and rules and justice, hmm, truth and rules and justice are a challenge for the three of them uh, celebrating their emotional victory. Let's see how that plays out a little bit more here. In the uh, base of this reading is the sun. And so, well, that's California. I mean, what else can it be? California is is absolutely where they've deposited themselves. And I think that's a beautiful uh, base for this whole reading. Let's let some sunshine in on this situation. The recent past for this is the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is, you know, someone who is in complete control of their uh, power, of their truth, of their, uh, of their justice. And so the recent past of this being the King of Swords how does that play into this message? So, King of Swords was how they sought to move into this new. So they sought to be the, the king of their rules. They, they wanted to rule their own truth, rule their own uh, justice, looks like to me. And that's how they moved into celebrating uh, the, the passionate uh, compassion uh, that they found. Okay, now let's see the sky of this reading then. Ah, is the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is just utter downfall, end of an era. And that's what had to happen. They had to stop, cut off the, the path that uh, Harry was on to plot a new path for themselves. You know, an end uh, portends the beginning of something else. The uh, uh, short-term outcome of this, then, is a Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is mourning. It's uh, sorrow. It's loss over, over valuable uh, emotion that's been spilt. And uh, that's exactly what we have here. They've got some more, some more things to go, to go on with, to pick up and carry on with. But the five of, uh, of cups is certainly uh, sorrowful. Right off the top, we're going to see what is the self, the self of Meghan Markle right now. Okay, it's the same cards again. Having to make a choice about which way to go. And uh, justice is blind. So you choose, you choose uh, truth, you choose um, uh, the law, you have to pick which way to go. And uh, who knows what that is. Um, the environment that that's in, though, however, is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is the knight who's bringing forth a big offer of compassion. And uh, his steed is decorated. As a matter of fact, he's traipsing in on a, on a, a, a beach right here. So that's pretty nice. 
So the environment that making this choice is, is in is of this Knight of, of Cups uh, at the beach, as a matter of fact. The um, likely outcome of all of this, or the hopes and the fears rather, is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is wanting to be in charge of your value. Okay, so that's what we've got here. Someone who wants to be in charge of their value and that's their highest, their highest uh, um, hope here. And the likely outcome of all of this then is the uh, Six of Pentacles, which is a distribution of the wealth. We can see here, and again, these, this uh, read has just been a beachy theme. So these uh, crows on this shoreline are distributing the value of the uh, fish that they've caught. So that's uh, what the hopeful outcome is for this reading for Meghan Markle. Now, you know, it seems a little more reasonable to me than the evil reading that I did just before this. And I should point out to you that uh, the, the, the tarot card reader can certainly interpret these cards in any way they want to. You have to bring your consciousness to the game when we do this. And um, so if you're coming in with, with the predetermined idea of, of whatever you think the reading is going to be, then that's when it's going to be for you. But if you come in with a clean slate and just look at what the cards are, then you see what they are. We've got some folks celebrating. They've been challenged by a, a night of truth. They were uh, shored up by a, a, a sunshine being let in on the issue. Um, their recent past was um, the issue with being the king of their truth. Um, an error had to end. Uh, they had to, to mourn over it. They had to choose a direction to go in. The direction they chose to go in is in the environment of, of look, on a beach with a knight bringing a cup of uh, compassion in. And then um, the hopes would be that they are, um, you know, the queen of their value, the, the top, the, the ruler of their own value, and knowing how to distribute that the value equally uh, is what is the uh, likely outcome for all of this. So I hope that was an interesting read for you. You know, I just had to get that, um, the hatred that some of the viewers uh, have for this woman. I just had to get it out in that first read. And uh, hopefully it showed you how ridiculous it was. Anyway, I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot, by the way. And, uh, but you're welcome to come along. Just try to bring a positive attitude and, uh, and uh, would want to find the truth. So I'll be doing this again tomorrow. Come on by. And ciao for now.